Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Before the chorus. Forgive my I hope this works. So the uh, singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? Oh. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go.
This way. Out the gate and around. Fighting in the fields ahead. everywhere. More machines. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. 
as it looks. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead.
one. Now on to the cordon. That was the last Let's go. Right I'll take this. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Gordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Oh, what's left of it? So many of There will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. I'll be in my stash when I need it. We shouldn't linger here. Trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. Up Follow here! your lead, Aloy. The cauldron door.
understand what's going on in there, you're gonna need one of these. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. We're about to take them out. Right behind you. feeling that's not all. takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even though it looks like those cables are blocking the way up. Make your way here. I'll find the other path. Okay. Those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shift the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. How are you doing? This place is more for the land. 
She goes. for later. Two pillars this time. Yeah. 
Don't fall, Aloy! <laughs> How's it going up there, Aloy? I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Yeah, just have to climb back up now. are all over that node. Maybe I can override it. back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? 
cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Now, how to get up to the node. over you two.
over facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile it used to be part of something good something called Gaia Yeah, 
There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people?
we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. They must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Looks like Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. The has been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least not directly. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay, Zo. Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. 
This is what will help heal Plainsong? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Is hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Huh. I might be able to pull that open. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. Then we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? to that ledge. I think I can clear them. Ah, oh, another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for.
Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I... cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Is it the cease? Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Barl, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. 
I'm going to poke around a bit. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility... Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. 
receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well... Every bit counts. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, 
every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not gonna be winning fights against them anytime soon. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. This is not good. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silent's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, 
The journey was made in just 29 years, at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. 
Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Aether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy.
I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. when I need it.
You! Let me take a look at you, stranger. Fall.
are spent. Rain's done. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers, they may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then? The end of the Eclipse? <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned? The ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago? Their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior.
you look edible. Once you're cooked. Count on a pack of scrappers to carve up any salvage. Looks like those three are in trouble. Stay back! Be careful, Zion! It's Outland! Don't just stay here! Untouched. Everyone all right? You saved our lives. More importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am Dain. You're saying that's a whole harvest? The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. 
What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. Where are you all headed? Plain song. It lies just down this road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. Uh, my people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking weapons or supplies, I know some of them would be willing to trade with you. Here, it's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. I can't take this. Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dime, you should go. Tell the others we have the harvest, and that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plain Song, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Dime's one of the cooks there. I'm sure he can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. when I need it. Huh? <laughs> 
stash.
that Bristol area. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low, find whoever's in charge, and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. We're getting shot at! Might be useful if I run into trouble. We should go and check. Ah, I heard that. Got machines in here. I could override them and set them free. I should check the body. I find something useful. Identification tags. I've seen Snock soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later.
easy. Away for later. Shine too often. Oh, it's opening the sun.
you. Let me take a look at you, stranger. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the Martians. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Stay alert, soldier. I've got nothing to report. You should have missed this chance to trade. Horrible paint, that. Safe travels, champion. If you need a merchant, here I am. Are you looking to buy?
find some mustache later. Instincts from all the sand. The machine riders from before. The ones who were racing. I know they're up there. In the race? Pay up. You threw a rock in my face. It's not like you can get any uglier. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hey, who are you? Everyone. We got company. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad. We got someone with a death wish here. Whoa. Look at that hair. What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Well, you're blazed, Josek. Don't think you want to test your luck with a soldier that took down Regala's champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. Road's right over there. Those machines used to be Regalas. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Pekka. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mouth. I see you carry a bow. Good. You'll need to use it if you want to win. Against the other racers? They will if you don't. 
We put everything on the line when we get on that track. Makes it worth something. You could test run the track if you want to. Just let me know when you're ready for the real thing. I'll do a practice run. If you think it'll help. You're ready for the real thing? I'm good to go. Let's hit the track.
prize for winning the race. You earned it. I think you owe me some answers. Name's Atta. As for how we got these mounts, most of us here used to be rebels. Joined Regala's army thinking we'd get a chance to fight in a real war against the Karja. Instead, Regala slaughtered our own in cold blood, barren life. When we made it back to camp, we snuck out on our mounts and never looked back. Been racing the clan lands ever since. Decided we were better off on our own. No rules, no chiefs. Just the speed of our mounts and the taste of blood. Doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Where's your quiet friend? The one with the mask. He didn't join the race. He gave up his spot so you could join. Probably for the best. What makes you say that? That one hasn't lost a single race. Doubt you would have gotten your answers if he stuck around. Maybe. You know, Hax found a spot to set up a race at the farthest end of Lowland Territory, right by the beach. Make your way there, maybe there'll be a spot waiting for you. If I'm in the area, I'll think about it. Hey, Lloyd. You here to join the race? Sell all you need to succeed. A good day. I wanted to thank you again for saving my life out there. I know we don't have much, but I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. I hope you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you here, Aloy. Thank you, Dane. won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? The chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tenox. They live to fight. As usual, among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the western clans. They're not attacking here. Can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. 
My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. remedies if you need. News, Outlander. I hear there's a group of Tanakh holed up near Stone's Echo. No one knows why they're there. One of our veterans wants to seek them out, learn what they're doing out here. Tanakh, the Nutaru territory. That doesn't sound good. Good hunting, Outlander. Night's coming. Better stay alert.
will have nothing by month. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the Old Growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Clostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunters' families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seeds she carried deserve to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utaro keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. The rite of discovery. 
What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontoria. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsome. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new Chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalar's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own. But they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. The survivor from the hunting party. Then? I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us, hunting for boar to help feed the tribe, just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, We heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Ree and Zan. Came right at me. Slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it. Yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees. And it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to Plain Song before I realized what I had done. Left Lao to die. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao. My oldest friend. use of this.
Children that could teach me. Drawbridge. That'd be my way across. That's well, one half of the bridge. But how to drop the other side? Scanning the bridge with my focus might show me something. Looks like there are a couple of weak points for the rope attached to the bridge. There. Bridge is down. Looks like it fell into a tunnel. 
So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Alden's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. I can get it for my stash later. I've got some prime salvage for you right here. So, you've returned from the West. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh's rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the Bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Alvin here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused. All of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. Not to mention, you sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate refugees over some salvage! Should have been mine. Ugh, that steel is already struck. Get over it. Uh, I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja schemes. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? 
Oh, <laughs> well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need Down you! Down with all that! <laughs> 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 Mud looks good on you, Alden. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain Scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. to you that damn mine is what happened to me <clears throat> what mine northeast to chain scrape where the river ends i told corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened but <sighs> olven probably threatened to cut off her pay or worse how about you slow down and take me through it who's corvin he's her foreman and a damn good one the kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olven who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. You mentioned you were injured in a cave -in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. As if Fistus was busy making hunter killers.
smoke. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. That looks like the foreman Arnav I mentioned. Out of this. I should Fox. check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, I can't stop. You've done enough. I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Gotta find those two miners. Quick. Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. Hopefully without bringing the mine down. as I go. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives if I might try.
all about the mustaches, right? Data to override that machine might be in another cauldron. Maybe I can swim past him without this time. find a way out of this room. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I should follow those tracks, see if they lead to the explosives. See where this leads. Calling the yeah. explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Got its attention.
That's all of them. Now let's go check on those miners. So we don't know that. It looks like everyone's okay. <laughs> you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his name. the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I tried to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. That's a good thing Ulvan's been kicked out of Chain Scrape then. Ulvan's gone? We were so busy working in the mines and then, then, then the explosion, we never heard. Something we can celebrate after I get my crew back to Chain Scrape. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Tower at the top of that cliff. I don't know if there's anything to stay inside. Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I don't have to climb.
can get a strong color out of this. go. Made it. And there's another one of those devices. The lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later.
Been spotted.
Make use of this. This place has seen better days. Made it. And there's another one of those devices. Nice. I guess I'll figure out what to do with it later.
There's another watchtower on that ridge across the valley. Looks like a long climb to get up there. Cliff. Might be able to reach the tower I saw at the top. this for my stash later. There's the tower. I still got a ways to go to reach the top. Hmm, this will make a good die. Okay, almost there. Here we are. Looks like there's another device up here. Got another lens. I'll tuck this away for now. I can almost see the entire valley up there. Tower on either side of the valley. I wonder if it's got a lens at the top. to my 
stash. Remedy for all who need it. Your help is my business. Who's on here is like their prayer for me. Well, it's a tonight that? game. But Come for another round. Enjoy it. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. The concession decree Olvind wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would have become an Osra municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. Well, I, uh... I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. No one wants to play strike. No? Anyone. An image from the old world. Looks like some kind of in front of sheer cliffs. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest.
for the stash. I think I'm out of range at the Vista Point. I gotta try again. This will be in my stash when I need it.
Gordon. Hey, what happened here? Well, what do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens, no. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. This is my stash later. Sounds like I'm on the right track. Better hurry.
hands. Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lens is from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs were coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look. Even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist, too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> 